You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you're granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Poor abandoned child, it does not die when sacrificed, but you have the heart to try. Child 13. Ugh. A largely unimpressive specimen. The stalwart mold man. The ultimate defense. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure. Because this guy's no different from the cat. Grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. I still feel like the mole man, despite these two are kind of useful, the mole man is huge. Especially if I can give him the, uh, like, fuse him with the porcupine. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the human, humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke to pass one of my trials and I will be yours in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first I will... Uh, first, you will choose a trial. Trial of bones. Three cards must cost at least five bones to, uh, to pass. Trial of wisdom must have at least three sigils among them to pass. Or six health to pass. What's even in my deck? So, oh, yeah, got rid of... I've got a shot with the health. Yeah. Okay, let's go with the health. Let the tri trial of health begin. Good luck. Oh yeah, we're good. <laughs> Three from the stoat, six from the mole man, and two from the worker ant. You have passed the trial. The beast received revealed itself it was. A rat king. A river otter. With... What is that? Sprinter. Oh, it just moves. I mean, I like the River Snapper with the thorns. The Rat King to move to block is kind of useless. But the River Snapper becomes tank. Inhabited River Snapper jo joined your menagerie. Okay, so I don't need more items. I don't know what this is. This would let me buff some more. This would let me remove a card, but I would have to fight a doozy. I think I want to keep going for the campfires. Keep buffing my cards. Okay. Crackling, uh, crackling fire lit the starving. Okay, so it's the usual. I don't think there's anything fancy here. Who do we want to buff? I mean, the cockroach wouldn't be a bad idea. The river snapper or... No, we want to do the mole man. This way, the mole man is at least halfway functional even on his own if there's nobody else to block. Okay, good stuff. Very good stuff. He's got a bee. Bees are flying. Okay, I, I see a couple of interesting options here, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the super bear blast combo. Oh, I forgot the bear is stinky. I could have actually paired that. Oh, well. Bam. What are you going to do about me now, boy? He blast me. That ain't enough. Okay, so we just want this. So here's the nice thing. I can just sacrifice that. That bee is now useless. So is the skunk. I think I just win. Yeah. Without a word. Different kind of choice. You must make a different uh, kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost you wish to pay. One, two, or bones. Oh, bones. Ooh, alpha. The venerable alpha. Its courage emboldens the creatures that stand beside it. 
Random card with cost of bone. What were you expecting? That's, I mean, I like that. My deck is getting a little full. That's the one issue. Um, I don't need items. Let's keep going for the campfires. This episode is going to be long. It's okay. The warm light of a campfire is a welcome sight. Though, the ten hungry... Okay, it's the usual. Extra health. So this is... There's a lot of options here. I could give it to the mole man. I could give it to that. Please no. Choose wisely. I mean, buffing the alpha seems like a really good idea. Though in retrospect, that could have been a really good thing to pair with something else. Maybe. Oh well. Okay. So I'm seeing bees. Squirrel, bullfrog, ant queen. Um, hmm. I don't have much to work with. Let's just tank the damage with the bullfrog. It's not that good anyway. It's mostly going to be there to block the hit from the first bee and then kill the other bee. Unless I want to sacrifice it for something. Might be too late for that. Um, hmm. Do I get the squirrel? Okay. If I get the squirrel down, sacrifice both for the ant queen. That gets me a worker ant. Power numbers the ant's creed. Get the stink bug down, which makes that be useless. And then we're just going to wait. Because the stink bug can just wreck that. Ooh. Okay. Get that. Get squirrel. Get the worker ant. This makes the ant queen better. I'd love to do an ant deck at some point. When we get to that op opportunity. Okay. Grab this. There's cat. But it requires two sacrifices, which is a little dicey. I think I'm fine for the moment. Because this kills that. We still have the bee, but hardly an issue. Okay, so we've got a creature or we've got this. I don't remember. Oh, that's the trapper. I could get a cat, a mantis. A fervent mantis as praying claws strike both left and right. A river snapper. I'm going to take... Is that just a mushroom on the table? I'm going to take the mantis. I have, there's some potential for that. Mainly, I'd like to potentially sacrifice it. Okay, who do we buff? I mean, the grizzly is not a bad idea. Mole man for the convenience of it. The stank grizzly is always an option. Otherwise, I could keep... I feel like I need to spread it around, though. On the guys that I'm going to be using and keeping. The river snapper's not a bad idea. Just keep it there as a perpetual wall. Hmm. Because, yeah, I could... I could buff the mantis, but I want to give the mantis his ability to, like, the wolf... Or the something else. Yeah, we really need to actually start sacking some things. Now I'm thinking about it, getting rid of certain abilities here. I think I'm just going to give it to the Mole Man for the time being. Because now he'll just live forever. Okay, and I see a sacrificial pedestal. Perfect. Maybe a little bit too much on the fire. Let's see. So he's got kingfishers, which are flying and underwater, which is kind of okay. Okay. And there's the coyote. Which limits me pretty hard. I'm just going to do that. We're going to take the initial damage. 
This hurts. They're underwater. Get a second one. Squirrel. What's this next? A s sparrow. Okay, so we want to sack both of these. Get a wolf down, kill the coyote, and... I want to get the stink bug on one of these. Because that's going to render one of those kingfishers less impactful. Oh, shoot. How disappointing. Okay, didn't do that right. Okay, and it's the trapper again. I did the math wrong. Probably should have torn a to tooth. First is free. More teeth for that one. I'm just going to go with the single. I don't think we need more than that. I have too many cards, in fact. Let's get over here. Okay, choose a sacrifice. We want to sacrifice... Oh, it's not everybody. It's just some of them. Now, the interesting thing I didn't think about is I could sacrifice the black goat on cat, which would make cat give three blood on sacrifice as opposed to one, which would effectively let me summon an absolute army, assuming I get cat down. Otherwise, we could sacrifice... Um... Because what I wanted to get rid of was the porcupine. More than anything else. Like, the skunk's not a bad idea. The co- Hmm. Wait. I'm gonna sacrifice the cockroach. To the black goat. Maybe. Yeah. I think this should work. I wonder how many of those patches you can add. If you can. Well, time to fight whatever this is. Losing that one life is not the end of the world, and maybe I'll get them both back. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from the pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. Now, let's take a look at this. So, first and foremost, he's got a kingfisher. Uh, well, this kind of works out in my favor. So, I'm going to get the squirrel down. Then, I'm going to get the black goat down. Put it down. Then, I'm going to sacrifice the black goat to get cat down. And I'm going to sacrifice cat to get the black goat down which means I can get the worker ant down. Not that it matters too much. Okay, we have another black goat. Not particularly necessary or impactful. I want to give that black goat just a little bit of damage, just because. Which fish, which fish, hard to choose. Okay, so it looks like he's aiming for one of my dudes. Thing is, that's fine. Get the goat down. Fresher fish. Easy choice. Okay. So I'm going to sacrifice the black goat to get the bear down. New fish. Easy choice. Okay, and then we're going to get the black goat down to distract him. And do a shit ton of damage. And what happens? Go fish! Okay, so he doesn't wipe my board. That's good. Look, there's a third. Talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever, but he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna sacrifice that to get this dope. You sure? Uh. -huh. Go fish. Well, this is a bit of a doozy. I think I'll be fine. Oh, now they're all underwater. Ah, uh, you know what? Grand scheme of things, this is okay. Sure. Okay. I'll definitely want to see if I can make Cat undying. Um, 
Not much I can do about this, unfortunately. But that's enough damage to just kill him because Cat and the Grizzly are super strong. <laughs> Let me relight your candles. Yep, got an extra life back. I am still going. Very well, rare card. The uninspiring Gek, perhaps you can find a use for it. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. And a mole man. This one's tough. Because I feel like the Ura Yuli could actually work incredibly well for me. I'm... More so than the Mole Man. I'm gonna try it. I've got a lot of blood generation right now. You considered one of the anglers catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Let me see. A frigid gust of wind bellowed. Unwelcome in your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. Okay. Well, I guess we're going this way. I don't remember what this does. Oh, right. Pelts. I only got one. I only brought one. I don't have another cockroach, which is a bit of an unfortunate thing. I'm gonna grab the river otter. Because if I can make it so that cats can't be attacked, then we're good. Okay, then this is extra damage. So I, I'm gonna do kind of an odd thing. I think I might buff the goat, because I'm always gonna have the goat. So having the goat being be able to do like two damage or something uh, is incredible. Maybe. Is a little bit predicated on, you know, getting the right cards down. Which is not always the easiest. Okay. So what's he got? Mole Man and the Turkey Vulture. Turkey Vulture shouldn't be a problem. I'm, I'm gonna take the hit. Is the one immediate issue. But I think I'll just live. Because I'll just immediately kill it. So let's grab another squirrel. 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 Cat. Sack the squirrels. Get cat down. Cat will take care of that. And we can sack, sack cat. Specifically get the skunk down there. I'm not actually sure why I did that necessarily, but that's fine. Okay. Now, we no longer need squirrels. We have the black goat. Interesting. And useful, but not right now. Did I ne neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. Carries on to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. Okay. Give me another. Give me a skink. Skink's not the most useful. I'm gonna sack the skunk. Get a skink down. He's not gonna be putting anything behind the boulder. Okay, we get the mantis. Hard to care. There we go. Even the scales. Hardly a cost for me. Get the possum. Okay. We now have the raven. I'm just going to keep stacking these. There's your Yuli. Which is great. Okay. I'm going to try and sack this skink. I want to see something. Okay. Where are you? Cool. And yeah, we still have the black goat. Just doing its thing. Alright. And we're good. And boy, we're gonna get a shit ton of teeth out of this. Let's see if we can actually scale more damage here. I don't think I'm going to. Not with this setup. All of these guys are pretty weak. Uh, that's fine. Bam. Look at all them teeth. That'll give me a fine pelt. 
But just one. Oh, and my backpack is full. I probably should use some of them. Uh, wait, I got it. I got a golden pelt. Perfect. I was like, I don't think I have enough, but we just had enough. Okay. I have too many. You'll accept this gift from my friend. What? Pack rat. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pat pack. Oh, well that actually worked out really well for me. Um. So we got another fight. What we need is the ability to purge some things from my deck or draw more. Um, okay. Is that an alpha? That is an alpha. This is looking a little dicier than I'd like. So I think now is a good time to specifically pop the black goat. Get cat down. Because cat will let me summon the skink. And I need more bones for that, but that's fine. <coughs> okay. So far, so good. Grab this. We have the alpha. We have the pack rat. Sack those two. Get the pack rat down. Gets me a thing. Gets me a frozen opossum. Sure, why not? I'm just gonna have it be there. Oh. That, I screwed myself. It's fine. At least that raven egg doesn't do damage and that raven's not gonna do enough. I think I'll be okay. Alright, we have the golden pelt, which is not the most useful. And yeah, not enough bones. Oh, there we go, but we win. Perfect. Okay, we're still going. I guess I'm going this way. Moose buck. What is this? The regal moose, the creatures of the wild, make way for it. What does this do? Hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed. Elk or a turkey vulture. I'm gonna grab from the moose. Uh, I'm gonna grab the moose buck, and we're gonna go here. Okay, more damage. Okay, who do I want to buff? It's kind of anybody. Unfortunately, my my deck is really freaking hefty. I'm gonna go for the black goat because once again, he is a very solid free sack. Especially if I can get cat down. No cat, but we got some other options. I'm seeing a porcupine and two raven eggs. Okay, I'm gonna just get that down. We also have the ant queen if I want to go that direction. I also have the boulder. I might pop the boulder. Oh, no, that would be that would be a really bad idea. This is tough. Cuz the red snapper unfortunately is an anti-flying. Really doesn't work for me here. Okay, at least that tree is going to get destroyed. Um put the squirrel there. Do we or do we not? Because I could sacrifice the squirrel and the bullfrog to put the snapping turtle down there. The raven eggs are going to shift soon though. No, I'm going to do it. Let's get him down. Let him start doing his thing. Well, that's interesting. They scale back and forth. Oof. Okay. And that is going to screw me. I think I'm going to lose here.
Okay, I'm just gonna pop that. I do not like any of these immediate options, unfortunately. But I think it's fine. Yeah, we lose. The problem is deck bloat. I'm kind of in trouble here. We'll see what I can do with it. Okay, this lets me remove cards. This lets me get another card of any cost. But then I can get some items, especially because I just burned through my entire stock of usable items. Which is more valuable to me? I'm going to go this way and hope for the best. Because items are only so useful. Mason Fawn quickly grows into an elk. Go for the turkey vulture. We have a lot more bones. Okay, now does this let me... Okay, came across some familiar stones, but there's something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Okay. What is, like, the least useful thing here? I'm feeling the skink. I can sack the skink, though. Okay, sack the skink. You callously, callously slaughtered the skink. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. You shook off the viscera of the poor skink. Viscera of the poor skink and carried onwards. Oh. I wonder if I sacrifice something more expensive, if it would have given me more. Alright. A man stood before you. A man you recognized immediately. It was the Trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Creepy. Okay. So he starts with strange frogs and some other things. And I cannot draw a card this turn. What is this? So that's just defense. Big issue here is getting my dudes down. This is gonna hurt. I might just lose. We will see. Okay, get the squirrel down. Get the other squirrel down. River snapper, put it there. And now I can get the possum. Not the greatest. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to just go for this. Nothing. I lose. Yeah, I'm starting with all of those, but it's fine. It's about time for this run to end. end. For this run to end anyway. You'll make an exquisite pelt. Huh. This is one dark game, but I love it. Alright, now let's see if I can make a new card. A good one? I mean, if I can have the Infinite Goat. Oh, that'd be gorgeous. Stay there. No need to move. I'm afraid you're not dead yet. Hold still. Where did I put the camera of mine? Pathetic. Did you really think I would leave film in there? Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. We have a memento to create. Behold your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Please choose a card to draw the cost from. I'm thinking we get the possum. Two bones from the opossum. A power and health. The numbers. Turkey vulture. 3-3. Three, three. And sigils. So, 3-3 three, three kind of defense machine is not the worst idea. A 3-3 three, three for two bones that attacks is not a bad idea either. Or, a 3-3 three, three that gives you free items. Uh, all of these are pretty good. I think I'm actually going to go for the items. The pack rat ability is kind of rare. Okay, and our name is Loot. One thing remains. 
You must capture the visage. Say cheese. What a fantastic game. Alright, well. Time to be a new victim. Not much for trading that last one. Are you prepared to make the right deals? A gift from the angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospector before he was given that chance. This hook is powerful. May you steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way in. It, but it is dealt, so it stands. So, still, so, uh, hmm. Okay, and I just get to choose whatever. I'm seeing some new things, too. And my deck is much smaller. Alright, well, one way or another, we've got some maybe things to... Oh. They're free now. You, you finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel. You may sh wish that you hadn't. Nothing there. Interesting. I wonder if giving him the teeth, if that's a way to balance the board, and I screwed myself by doing it. Okay, nothing to do with that. Still don't know anything with this. When did this get broken? I have no idea. What else do we have? Unfortunately, no dice. Can't use that now. Well, either way, inscription is available today. Uh, you know what? Honestly, I'm actually probably going to have this be the end of episode two. Because an hour and 17 minutes a little long for a first episode, no matter how... No matter how you cut it. So. Yeah, do I want to? Or do I want to just leave that as the first episode and just have it from there? No, I'm going to kill my backlog if I if I don't have 40 minute videos. I think you guys can survive. So, I guess with that, Inscription's already been out for a day. It's a fantastic game. Go check it out. I love it. I can't wait to play more of this. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.